Thanks, Riaz. Good morning. Investigators are still piecing together the final hours of Corey Monteith's life after the details of the BC coroner's report were released, confirming that the Glee star passed away from a fatal mix of heroin and alcohol. Thor Dykow joins us now from the Fairmont Pacific Rim with the latest. Thor? Thanks, Jody. Yes, police went on to say that this confirmed their earlier suspicions that drug use was taking place inside the hotel room, but they didn't give any for, further information on what they actually found. They also went on to say that Corey was with one man and two women the night before he passed away. But again, they didn't say who these people were, where they are from, or where they were that night, but they did say they were cooperative with the investigation. Here's what the VPD also had to say yesterday. There's an inherent risk when you're using illicit drugs. Um, and uh, there's nothing legally uh, in this situation that we can see that would cause us to pursue the investigation further. The choices you make yeah. are going to decide your future, and unfortunately, he made some poor choices and yeah, didn't end very well. That's the problem with addictions: is that you never know when it's going to, when someone's going to lose the control to the point where they're going to take their own lives without knowing they're doing it or not. Jody Glee was supposed to start production again on Monday, but it is now under a two-week production hiatus, and friends and family are gathering in Vancouver to go over the details of the funeral, but they have not been made public yet. All right, thanks very much, Thor. Thor Dykow reporting for us from the Pacific Rim Hotel in downtown Vancouver. The warm weather isn't going away anytime soon, so hopefully the tragic death of a Maple Ridge boy can serve as a lesson. The two-year-old has succumbed to injuries sustained Friday. The boy was airlifted to hospital after falling onto his driveway from a second floor window when a loose screen gave way. Authorities are again reminding parents to install child-proof window guards and locks. The coroner's service is investigating the death. Dozens of people have been forced from their homes after fire broke out in an apartment building in Kelowna. Flames broke out late yesterday afternoon at the four-story structure. Crews were on scene within a matter of minutes and worked through the night dousing hotspots. The roof has been destroyed and there is extensive water and smoke damage throughout the 64-unit building. The cause of the fire is under investigation and it's believed no one was injured. Fire crews are trying to figure out what sparked a massive blaze at a Victoria landmark early Tuesday morning. Esquimalt's Tudor House pub has been destroyed by fire. The pub was built in 1904 and served as a popular hangout for soldiers and sailors stationed at the nearby Canadian Forces base. Unfortunately, old materials in the building helped the fire spread. No one was injured, thankfully, but several people are out of work. Summer sun brings out motorcyclists en masse. After fielding many noise complaints about extra loud exhaust mufflers, Vancouver police are pulling out their motorcycle muzzles. VPD officers are cracking down on loud motorcycles. They're pulling over riders and testing their bikes with sound meters. Over the weekend, 19 of 50 bikes tests violated noise limits. Bikers were issued tickets in order to get their mufflers changed. We've seen uh, people riding these motorcycles who actually wear earplugs themselves to protect their own hearing from their own motorcycle. And we've also seen uh, instances where if we try and stop one of these motorcycles, they haven't been able to hear a siren. And that means they aren't able to hear a siren of an ambulance or a fire truck or some other vehicle that may need to uh, get through traffic before they do. Police say they are simply responding to noise complaints from the public, particularly in the downtown core, and they insist they are not targeting all motorcycles, just modified ones with noisy mufflers. Royal family is celebrating a special birthday this morning, but it's not the one everyone's waiting for. Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall and future grandmother, turned 66 today. Meantime, the wait continues in London this morning as there's still no word on the status of a very pregnant Duchess of Cambridge. Reporters from around the world are still on standby, ready to spring into action at any moment. This morning, they were paid a visit by a couple of royal lookalikes, including this, Prince Harry. Sports Now, the Blue Jays' Jose Bautista drove in Major League Baseball's All-Star Game's first run with a sack fly. Ten pitchers combined on a three-hitter as the American League beat the National League three-zip at the All-Star Game. Toronto relievers Brett Cecil and Steve Delabar each struck out the only batter they faced. And Yankee Mariano Rivera tossed a perfect eighth. Rivera was named MVP. The American League will now have home field advantage if they make it to the World Series.
Former Vancouver Canuck was out practicing with the Whitecaps at UBC. Manny Malhotra took to the turf at the invitation of coach Martin Rennie. He's now an unrestricted free agent and has been training hard in an effort to find a new NHL team after it was deemed too dangerous for him to keep playing with limited vision following his eye injury. Manny Malhotra wants to prove he can still play in the NHL. Like everybody else, waiting for a job opportunity. Uh, seems to be pretty quiet right now around the league as far as signings are concerned, but uh, you know, that doesn't deter me from uh, staying in, in top shape and, and being ready when the opportunity arises. Other Whitecaps news, Whitecaps FC captain Jay Demerit is getting back to training after suffer suffering that ruptured Achilles tendon in the first game of the year. He says he's weeks away from practicing with the team. I'm doing pretty much everything you can athletically now. Um, it's feeling pretty stable, but now it just needs to get that little bit stronger. You know, I, it's good to think that I'm in the final hurdle now, but uh, there's a couple more tees to cross, and then I should be back uh, training with the team. He wants to get out there right around his wedding, which is coming up next month to Ashley McIver.